Hey everybody, this is Jeff B, and you have reached my channel. Today I want to focus on uh, a young Pleco in the 55 planted and his power move. I want to talk a little bit about the way I tend to raise Plecos and just some general stuff about this tank, but we are going to need some music. That'll do just fine. One of the things you just saw was the power move uh, for this uh, Leopard Cactus Pleco. Um, I call it a power move playfully uh, because what it involves is the Pleco not only going head first at its uh, whatever aggressor or whatever it's, it doesn't like, uh, but also knowing to cut back and use the back side of its body. Um, most Plecos have a pretty serious ridges along the side of their body, so that tail whip um, can <clears throat> can be a real problem uh, for any fish who doesn't want to catch that to the face or to the side. Um, and so this fish is really figuring itself out and um, using this little space, and that is his mainstay. Using that little space uh, to dip in, hit the food, and then dip back out again. Generally will not go up against the male crib, but even that rule changes. I'm really excited about this little fish because it's going to grow up to be quite the bull. In this tank, I have uh, two clown plecos, two pandacories, two crebensis, a male and a female. I've got a common pleco that needs to come out of there. Uh, I just don't want to catch it. This is a this is a pretty detailed little tank, and the idea of having to get that pleco out is just such a nightmare. That I'm just letting them grow till it's big enough, till it won't be much of a challenge. Uh, and again, this little young leopard cactus pleco. I tend to try and separate small plecos because they are so scrappy. You know, a lot of times they can get themselves in situations if you just dump them in your bigger tank uh, with your bigger fish that they, you know, they'll pick a fight that they can't always win. Uh, you know, and some plecos are going to cost you a little money. So I, I find it really beneficial to start them off and, you know, just like any other fish, start them off in the same size, t with the same size classmates, so to speak. Uh, I don't want to throw him in with the big fish. He's going to go after this big pleco in a second. I slowed these kind of fight scenes down just so you can see the detail in the way that the pleco moves, and they really are smart about their bodies, and they know that they have a couple different places to hit you. Uh, which I dig a lot, and I mean, even this is slowed down to maybe 15%, and I still, you still really can't even see him moving. Granted, I didn't use a, a uh, high-speed phone or anything, but still, it's, it's it makes, uh, it proves the point that it's a pretty fast fish. Um, so again, a lot of plecos will act like this. This one especially is uh, pretty scrappy. So I'm very excited, and he'll do fine. The, the Crebensis really is sort of running the tank right now. And aside from that, nothing nothing gives uh, this little Pleco much problems. Because A, you can't find him. He's always in this little crevice. And B, uh, when you do, he knows how to use that tail whip. This is one of the plecos that I am allowed here in Hawaii, and so I'm, I'm very excited to own it. I have a larger one in the 125 that I, I, is one of my prizes for sure, and so this is right behind. These fish will range anywhere from $35 to $85 for a young one, a U.S., and that's, you know, whatever it is. I dig these fish very much, and if you can keep them, wait a minute get a tail whip coming up here soon. Hey, I want to stop and remind everybody, you know, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe uh, for further updates. I have a fish room full of, full of chaos, um, a lot of different types of fish to learn about. So if you have the time and enjoy YouTube, please do subscribe to my channel. But back to this. Let's see, 
great move. You know, actually, I I went ahead and played this one twice. I think, um, if not the next one, uh, just because to me it's just so smart. It's such a smart it's such a smart thing that they do. And Plecos, I mean, they do go head first. I see them do head first all the time, and I'm really glad that mine don't tend to do that with each other. They'll do that with other fish. I'm expecting a spawn from these Kerbensis uh, any time now. She is a little bit young, but she's definitely showing all the signs and doing the dances with them, and they've dug themselves out of cave on the other side of the tank. Boom! <laughs> Love it. On the other side of the tank. Uh, so I'm expecting a spawn real soon. Let's go ahead and watch that again, even slower. Whoop! Watch that tail end. It's not fun. It ain't fun. You don't want it in the face, that's for sure. So I love my plecos, that's for sure. Uh, this tank is going to do very, very well in the upcoming version of the 125 that I'm very excited to, to get into. And don't worry, I'll take you guys along with me. If you're subscribed, that is. Listen, you guys, I want to thank you for hanging out and listening to some music and uh, enjoying this tank. And again, this is just one corner of this tank, and I have no complaints about this. So far, this tank is doing just what I want it to do. I keep it low stocked because I want to make sure it's balanced. And there's enough little, little tiny aggressive things in here that I really don't want to create a big, big traffic of uh, aggression. I like it right where it is. Listen, this is Jeff B., you guys. Please comment, subscribe, like, and I'll see you real soon.